Hey you guys, Valley Von the Perfume Don. Welcome to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for joining my Perfume Mafia. If you are subscribed, hit the subscribe button, like, share this with someone who's also a fragrance enthusiast. And you can also follow me on Instagram, it's Valley Von the Perfume Don, and I talk about fragrance there every day. So I got a request from one of my Perfume Mafia members to review, I believe it was the original Dior Attic for Women. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's the one that I picked up to review, and this is my thoughts about it. So first of all, I do not have the bottle here with me, but the bottle is pretty standard. I will insert a picture, um, just a regular rectangular shape, very nice for storage, very sturdy, um, very sleek, and very elegant, and it is a nice reflection of the actual fragrance. On to the juice. For the performance for me, it only lasts about three hours on my skin. Um, I don't think that's horrible. You definitely will have to reapply um, and let's get into the fragrance so the fragrance when it's first sprayed for me is extremely off-putting I'm not a huge fan of the combo I think it's just it's just it's a little bit rough for me I don't really like that combination um, and I think it also the combination with that citrus up front anything where it's like fruity up front something it can turn a little bit weird and that's what it does for me but once the opening notes dry down when it gets to the hard notes and the base notes really save this fragrance when it gets to the heart notes that's when i start really liking this fragrance i love how the rose is done in this fragrance it is it adds a soft feminine element but not so girly and definitely not verging on the end of granny at all it still maintains a youthful element and that's why i can understand why they added those citrus notes up front even though i don't really like them in the beginning now my favorite part of this fragrance truthfully are the base notes and that's what you're going to smell majority of the time. It takes about 20 minutes, if that, for you to really get to the base notes and that is the tonka bean, it is the vanilla and it has the sandalwood in there and that is a beautiful scent. It's great for right now, fall, winter and that's what stays with you throughout the day. If it stays on you, a little bit better than it stays on me. All in all, I think this is a nice scent. I think this is a little bit heavier of a scent. Heavier of a scent. I think it's really great for nighttime wear. Um, it's, it doesn't have a huge sillage. It doesn't have like a cloud around you unless you super overspray it. I can see that happening. But all in all, I think it's a pretty much sits close to the skin type of scent. So I think it's okay for office. Um, and I think it's all right for a date. I don't think this is a very flirty scent. Um, this is a very womanly scent, a very assertive scent. And yeah, very, I think it's quite a heavy scent. So I wouldn't get this for someone as a gift unless you know for sure that they like this scent because I think it can be a tad bit polarizing again because of that opening combination and how it transitions. But all in all, it's a decent scent and I can see why it's been around so long. Um, I would like to give you guys a review of the Old Fresh version because I think that one I have a different idea and a different interpretation. But let me know what do you think about this scent and again hit subscribe, like, share this with someone else who really likes fragrance and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.